it's just, it's not a space that we want to be in. That's not what we feel like we're, it's not really, it's not impacting crime. The problem is we were getting pummeled with complaints um, from the neighborhood, from the residents, whether they felt threatened, they didn't like seeing the trash. We saw little kids darting in and out of traffic. And then this year we actually had a shooting over a space where people were fighting over space to sell water. So we've really tried to take the approach of please just leave. And for the most part, that's worked really well. But no, this is not something that, that we want to be doing. No. We have complaints that these guys are selling water, um, the, vi the, tra the, pedestri the traffic, the, we get calls, people saying they feel threatened. They, they don't like them there right off the ramp, the interstate ramp. And our folks went out there and they did. They asked these, these guys to leave. I think they were like 21 years of age. I uh, gave them 10 minutes to pack up because they really, they set up a store there mm -hmm. and um, it, it, they wouldn't leave. So our folks went to arrest them. They resisted it's, and it's, there you go. So in other words, now we're in a space of having to defend, why did you lock someone up for selling water? Well, you know what? We responded to the demands of the community. And mm -hmm. at the point that someone resists arrest, we do have an obligation and to, to, to try to, is, you know, to, to de-escalate it and, but also deal with the problem. We can't just walk away when someone says, no, I'm not going to do it. I mean, that's not an option for us either. So it's a lose-lose. It's a lose-lose.